Okay, so I just realized that Bandicam stopped recording while I was apparently in the nether, and now I'm going to have to do this all over again. Eh. I was heading to residential area too because there's actually stuff here. Including the, the uh, prototype for my starter base. As you can see, it's nice, but not like super big. You know, it, it's a starter base. It has about everything you would need in a starter base. And then some stuff that you probably wouldn't need in a starter base. Like, for example, an ender chest. <clears throat> and you probably also wouldn't need need this in a, a starter base. Unless, of course, you planned on just staying in your starter base all season and not bothering to make a bigger one somewhere else, but, I mean, come on, who wants to do that? I know I don't. Anywho, if you take these stairs down, you run into a part of the rail line. One of them goes back to the government district, the other goes to Residential 1, which doesn't really have anything in it. Anyway, the Under Homes area is basically just meant to be a place where you can just dig in wherever and just have a home. <coughs> it's a bit labyrinthine, but still kind of neat. The upper area is just, you know, divided into sections. And just so you guys have a better idea, Residential 1 is all the way over here and doesn't really have much of anything in it. Though I did at least connect it to the rail lines. <clears throat> Why doesn't it have much in it? Because I haven't really bothered to give it anything, basically. There is also an actual road to it, but oh boy is it a long one. In fact, it's so long that I'm not really going to bother or showing you guys. It's much faster to go through the nether, and once we have a good nether or hub going in Season 3, hey, we're probably never going to use the actual road, and we'll instead opt for the rail lines or just the nether hub. Because, well, it's just much quicker. The actual footpath is just really inefficient. And yes, that is completely my own fault. As for this path, this goes to the shopping district. You might be wondering why it's so far away, and well, you'll see fairly soon. That's right, we, we had a mushroom island decently close to spawn but not like super close. And so we decided, you know what, we've got one, we might as well use it. And so this is now going to be the shopping district and don't worry, I'm sure the actual shopping district will have a nicer looking bridge. I can imagine and what the paths might actually look like, and what, what sort of shops might spring up in this crazy little place. As you can see, the pathways are nowhere near complete, eh, and the shape of this place is rather odd. But we'll probably end up flattening parts of it, eh? But if not just on the principle. Well, that'll be hard to deal with otherwise. <clears throat> and besides, th this place should be a nice little place to uh, have our shops.
And that's about all I need to show you. Who for the plans for season three? I mean, granted, that's about all there is. But you also need to remember that these are not set in stone. Some of these things may look entirely different when season three actually comes around. For one, I'm expecting this bridge to look entirely different when it comes around. And I'm also expecting that that some of the paths for at spawn will probably also look different. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um, I'll see you guys next time, whenever that happens to be, and enjoy the actual last update for Season 2 and a sneak peek at Season 3. Well, I wouldn't really call it an update so much as a Lost Things episode. But anywho, I'll see you guys later.